Welcome back to another one, guys. This is going to be my review of the uh, 2022 Venom Ghost 250cc chopper. Uh, as you can see, I have 11 miles on the bike so far. So winter time is January right now, so really haven't had uh, weather good for, for riding. Just to take it around the block a couple times. Got some video footage of that coming soon. Uh, first things first. Overall impressions of the bike when I first got it was I definitely liked it. I liked the styling of it. The build quality seems pretty good. Didn't find any uh, any problems. You know, when you get the bikes, the, uh, the the bikes made in China, you have to check for loose bolts, etc. Didn't have anything like that going on with it. Everything uh, was as it should have been once I got it on box. No problems at all. Uh, so shout out to Venom Motorsports for, uh, for getting the shipping handled right and getting the bike to me in good condition. Uh, about the bike, it's listed first off as a 250 cc. In all actuality, it's uh, according to the the MCO is 229 cc's. So we'll start there. Well, I think that's pretty common with motorcycles for them to uh, give you a number that's a bit higher than the actual cc's of the motor. But even with that, 229 cc's is a smooth running bike. Uh, it'll get you up to speed. It definitely keeps up with traffic. No problems there. Pretty light bike too. Uh, definitely like the LED lights that's on the side there. Hopefully you can get a good look at it. But there's one of these on each side just for safety. Anything that can make you more visible in traffic is definitely a win. I uh, got the LED brake light in the back. Bright enough. LED turn signals. Just LED lighting all around. Uh, so that's always a nice feature. There's the other side light there just for safety. And I'll take you around to see the, uh, the headlight in the front. Not much to the bike, you know, it's uh, no frills, it's carbureted, uh, five-speed, uh, hydraulic front and rear brakes, uh, decent tires too, one thing I did like about them, uh, it does have, well, I guess it would be considered uh, dual sport tires, which is great for me because I live in a, a semi-rural area, so I do run into a lot of gravel, uh, a lot of sand because I'm out here in, uh, in Nevada, so that definitely helps, better than street tires for me, uh, nice LED Headlight on the front. Looks good. Uh, so yeah, everything about the bike uh, so far, obviously only 10 miles in. I've done the first oil change already just to get the shipping oil out. But everything so far works good. Starts up good. Uh, have to give it some choke now because it's winter time, so it, uh, it's a bit cold outside. When I try to start it, I'll probably uh, give a start up in a rev video maybe a little bit later today. This is just going to be my initial review and first impressions of the bike. Very simple uh, display here. Uh, that's one problem I did have with it. Now I'm thinking about it. The display is supposed to be uh, where I can push the button and alternate between the odometer and the trip. Mine does not work. But again, shout out to Venom Motorsports. I reached out to them. They shipped me a new one. I just haven't taken the time to install the new one yet. But the uh, display does give you just all your basic information, your fuel, uh, your battery charge, the uh, RPMs, mile per hour. It'll display your your gear that you're currently in, and obviously you have a neutral light, and it has the turn signal uh, indicators as well. Also, this bike has uh, what I thought was a nice feature I, I hadn't seen on a bike before. It has uh, hazard lights. So... You know, I guess if you ever get into trouble or you have to pull over to the side of the road, you do have hazards that flash in the front and the rear. Very bright, big headlights, uh, big turn signals. I'll take you to the rear so you can see those too. But yeah, big, uh, big lights definitely can be seen while you're riding it. And that's, as we all know, it's very important. The matte black finish, I got no complaints about the paint. Um... But actually, I have no complaints about the bike whatsoever. Uh, just some things I, I I wouldn't call them complaints. Just some things I would like to make a little bit better. Uh, the only issue, not even an issue, the only uh, thing I'm trying to address, I'll say, is the throttle. There is just a, a lot of play in this throttle. And I've tried to adjust it using the adjuster and even down at the carburetor itself. Um, so I don't know if it just really needs a shorter throttle cable. Or what the issue is but you can see all of that that's all play all that's play and that's just as far as i'm concerned that's just too much play in the throttle but outside of that um i really have i've had no no issues with it and even that's not an issue it's just more of a preference 
Uh, and I just wish there was more adjustment. I have it adjusted about as much as I can and that I still end up with that much play. So I, I really am under the belief that it does just need a, a longer or I'm sorry, shorter throttle cable. But doesn't, you know, not, not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. Not much for fairings, which is good. Makes the bike easy to work on. Things are easily accessible. Um, but overall, my first impression is definitely a, a thumbs up. Uh, I do like the the low seat height. Uh, I believe I want to say it's 29 inches. So it is actually the lowest seat height of anything I have. It's lower than the uh, than the Condor and also lower than the than the Aerial Rider. So this one is it, it sits lower than all of them, and it's the, the biggest, most powerful bike of the other bunch, which I find pretty interesting. But it's very comfortable. The way you see it on the bike, brakes work great. Literally no complaints. Right out the box, first 10 miles, no complaints. Uh, Venom Ghost 250cc, definitely recommend it. Uh, definitely recommend Venom Motorsports as a vendor uh, to get the bike. They got it to me, got it to me quick. And they also got me the replacement uh, the replacement display there as soon as I reached out to them about it. So big shout out to them. But that's it, guys. Venom Ghost 250cc. Ride videos coming soon. There'll definitely be more content coming with this bike. And again, I think the plan is going to be to keep the bike stock. You know, so many people buy these bikes and the first thing they do is throw a carburetor on it and change the exhaust, et cetera, et cetera. I'm more interested in seeing what you can get out of one of these uh, these bikes made in China that gets shipped to your house without having to do all that. Just ride the bike for what it is and see what does or doesn't break. Uh, see what kind of performance the bikes will give you just out of the box without having to go through all those changes, I'm sure. You know, although I enjoy turning a wrench, most people aren't looking to buy a motorcycle just to take it apart and put it back together as soon as they get it. So with this one and with the Condor, we're going to see, you know, just what what do you really get for your money when you buy one of these Chinese motorcycles? So stick around, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. More coming soon. Ride videos coming soon. Uh, we're going to have some 50 degree plus weather this weekend. So I should be able to get out and get some rides on something, hopefully, because I'm itching to get out there. My finger's feeling better, so I'm really itching to get out there. But again, like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Dio on two. I'll see you in the next one.